behind the window. Hi, I'm Isabel and I'm going to be showing you how to create a fun design for your window. You will need some poster paints. Water-based paints work well because they wash out easily. You'll need some paint brushes too. More than one's helpful so you don't have to keep cleaning your brush. Some recycled pots like these yoghurt pots work well for mixing your paints in. And you'll need a sturdy pot for your water to go in so it doesn't spill. We've used masking tape on the windows to map out your picture. You'll also need some washing up liquid. Don't forget to protect your house with some newspaper. And cloths for cleaning. Step 1. Sketching. First I'm going to have a go at sketching my ideas. I'm thinking about bringing light and love into our homes. So I'm drawing some hearts and some stars and sunshines to start. I'm just using some bold, simple shapes so that they're really easy to transfer into my design on the window. Signs of spring give us hope too, don't they? And there's some beautiful cherry blossom will be coming out soon. So I'm having a go at sketching some of this now. Again, just using nice, simple shapes. I'm making a shape a bit like a cloud for around the outside and then some little dots for the centre. Other flowers that are going to be coming out soon or already are out are some snowdrops, tulips and even some daffodils. So I'm going to draw my tulip now. I think I'll make the flower head look just like a crown. They always have those spiky petals at the top and here are the bits where the pollen go. The stamen I think they call it. And finally a daffodil. I think this will give me plenty of ideas to choose from. I'm ready for the next step. Step, step 2. Designing! Create a design for your window by picking up bits of your sketches that you like the best. You can enlarge them and plan what colours you'd like to use too. Why not try making a frame for your design to fit inside? I'm drawing a line across the top and then the bottom and then each side of my paper. That way the larger design can fit inside and I can add pattern around the outside. I'm going to add my tulips for the centre of this design. I'm decorating the frame of my picture with some simple stripes and triangles. It's ready. If you're someone who likes designing, you might want to have a go at this idea. I believe it's called radial symmetry. That just means your pattern's repeated around a circle, like this. So to start, I've drawn a cross and a simple shape, a heart. Now I'm placing the heart into one of the quarters and making sure as I move it round the bottom of the heart remains pointing towards the centre of the cross. To help me get it right I'm just moving the shape round once and then drawing the shape as it looked before. Working all the way round until each quarter has a heart in it. I'm going to use the same idea using the tulip flower. So place it at the top and sketch the shape. And I'm working my way around each point of my cross in the same way as I did for my hearts. Imagine the lines of the cross are the stems of the flower and it should help you to have them all looking out the same way. Finally I'm going to add in my cherry blossom design.
work all the way round to complete your design. Like this. Step three, painting. Time to paint, but remember your newspaper and cloths to keep your house clean. Prepare your paints by putting a bit of poster paint into one of your recycled pots. Give it a little stir and then you're going to add a drop or two of washing up liquid. It can be any sort. Adding the liquid will make it easier to clean the paint off your windows at the end. Now you can start putting your masking tape on. I'm just using an old frame to show you because it didn't show up well on the window. This idea is quite fun and creative. Here I've used the star as my starting point and then I'm adding lots of triangles and different shapes all around it. Until my window's full. Now I'm adding the paint. I'm sticking to a palette of just yellows and oranges and blues and purples so that it makes it simple and effective. I'm working through one colour at a time so I don't have to keep changing my brush. When you do change colours, make sure you wash your brush in clean water and then give it a good dry on some kitchen paper or a cloth. This will stop your paints from running. Now I'm adding shades of blue and purple. I'm trying to make sure that each colour contrasts with the ones around it and making sure the stars really shine out. Enjoy doing this bit, it's fun. The finished product. You can leave the masking tape on or, if you prefer, take it off like this. OK, so now for the frame idea. Start in exactly the same way as you did your drawing. Create the frame. Then all the other things will fit nicely inside it. Start by painting the smaller areas and work up towards the larger areas. This way the paint shouldn't get smudged around as you work. It's finished. Build up more detailed pictures by tearing the masking tape in half lengthwise and applying it in smaller pieces. Like this. I'm blending the colours on the window, putting pink in the centre and then adding the red. My final design's finished. This one works well with fairy lights behind it at night. Have fun painting your windows!